Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Bronze Age Minecraft, a series where we set out to recreate the Bronze Age settlements of ancient Greece. My name is Daskalos, and I'm a professional archaeologist and certified interpretive guide. And today is the day. We are going to start building the palatial complex at Pylos. That's right, the terraforming has been done, the subscriber special has been done, and now it's time to build. Hold on. That's a, that's a really nice shot there with the whole sunset and the towers. Now let's see what that looks like with shaders. Oh yeah, that's really nice. I'm always surprised at how beautiful this game of blocks can be. Anyways, now I gotta sleep real quick. Dude, come on. Of all the beds in the entire village, why this one? Come on, man. I, you, you gotta go back. You gotta go back. Hold on. Let me, let me take care of this guy. Anyways, where was I? Oh yeah, the building. So we're gonna start by laying out the floor plan of the individual rooms in the complex. Uh. Yeah, that's right, dude. Uh, we already have the outline. Now we just have to fill uh. it. Yeah, I know. Hold on. Once that's done, we're gonna move to a special building, the northeastern building. So if you're ready. I'm ready. Huh? He's obviously ready. Let's get into it. All right, the floor plan is done, and now to start on the Northeast Building. There's been some scholarly debate on the function of the Northeast Building that I'll get into while building it. But first, let me tell you how this is going to go. In my studies on the Northeast Building, I came across a paper by Jorg Westerberg titled The Reconstruction of the Northeast Building at Pylos, A Different View. And in this paper, it is suggested that there were two building phases. Now, I really like his article, so I'm actually going to build the Northeast building in those two phases. So, I've got my materials. Let's just jump into it. In Westerberg's article, the first phase of the building is that of a stoa. Now, if you're not familiar with what a stoa is, it's basically a long open building with a colonnade out front. The most famous of which is the stoa of Attalos in Athens. But what's interesting about this type of building is that its appearance on the Greek mainland can be attributed to the Minoans.
The Minoans were a prominent civilization on the island of Crete. They were known for their strong navy and large palatial complexes. Named after King Minos, you may better know them from... Whoop! Oh, I knew that was going to happen. All right, let's, um, let's try that again. <clears throat> Named after King Minos, you may better know them from the myth of the Labyrinth and the Minotaur. Yeah, those guys. It is generally accepted that there was a blending of the more militaristic Mycenaean culture and a generally weakened Minoan culture in the 14th and 13th centuries, either through force or just regular old expansion. But it was more than just the Mycenaeans invading the Minoans. The flow also worked the other way as it had been for quite a while, and we see Minoan influences in art, architecture, and other such things within the Mycenaean world. One of those influences being the Stoa. Now here it is, the first phase of the northeast building, the Stoa. As you can see, it consists of the three main rooms, the middle of which being completely open, a colonnade out front with the red pillars like what we see in some of the frescoes on Crete, and a flat roof, which is generally agreed upon by scholars. And the floor is just plain old stucco. The walls of this building were built out of crude brick, so I recreated that here with the mud brick block in Minecraft, the foundations of which are cobblestone, and in the real world the foundations of this building were courses of stone anywhere from between about 10 centimeters all the way up to nearly a meter in height. Generally speaking, this is a pretty good representation of what it probably looked like, though more than likely the walls were plastered. So now that phase one is done, Let's knock out phase two. For phase two, we see some things being added to the building and some things being removed. The colonnade gets torn down in certain areas with rooms being added across from the open rooms of the stoa. Of these, there is one large room and two smaller ones. The roof is then extended out over these three rooms as well. The function of the Northeast building has come into question as of late. The Linear B tablets found would suggest some sort of workshop or supply building or storeroom. Because of this, Carl Blagan, the main archaeologist that excavated Pylos, interpreted the building as a workshop for chariots and it's been generally accepted as that for a long time. But there are some issues with that interpretation. Some scholars have pointed out that the Northeast building is just too small for large-scale chariot construction and repairs. An interesting thing to note, however, is in that Minoan influence I mentioned earlier. The Great Stoa at Agia Triada on Crete is very similar in construction to the first phase stoa suggested by Westerberg, and I mention it because that stoa was both a storeroom and a workshop. This room here at the end that opens into the colonnade has been interpreted as a shrine, and the reason for that is because all the material remains from within that room are very different than the rest of the building. Couple that with the painted altar directly in front of the entrance to that room, and we're left with the impression that this had some sort of religious importance. It is suggested that this room perhaps belonged to a goddess named in one of the Linear B tablets, Potnia Hippea, or Lady of the Horses. 
This, of course, ties in nicely with the idea of the Northeast Building being a workshop dedicated to chariots. All right, that is done. We're going to do a little bit of a walkthrough and some glamour shots. What the... F There's nothing up here for you, man. <sighs> I just don't get villagers sometimes. Anyways, I'm going to place some of these decorations and let's get to those glamour shots.